Welcome back to our adventures. Uh, today we're gonna be showing you guys around Nanaimo. Hope you enjoy it. crowded let's go Nice weather, it's like 16 degrees. Nelson, wait. Ooh, it's sliding though. Nelson, wait for Dominique. Huh? It's a bird? Cool. It's like how don't leave me. Look at this tree. It's 
growing out of another tree. Cool. How long have I been walking? An hour already? Look at that tree, it's growing more trees. More little trees. Correct done? myself, we've been only doing this for half an hour. Mind you, we stopped for taking some pictures and petting some dogs. You're petting a dog? That wasn't petting a dog. <laughs> but they wanted to be pet. And one of them barked at Nelson because they wanted to be pet by Nelson. But we don't want to get close to people's dogs. We don't want to get close to people's dogs because people might get mad that we're touching their pets and then, you know, spread and something. So, fortunately, no dog petting for us. So we're following these markings right here. I think I hear the waterfalls. Do you guys hear it? It's almost there. I hear the water. Oh. You don't wait for me. So steep. Okay, so this is kind of dangerous because I'm like literally standing right here, but how about this little guy? No. Not gonna bother him, but we're touching. So we had to follow a rope down. Really, really, really steep. But then. Whoa. adventure. Nice. We fell on our butts a couple times. <laughs> also got a little bit dirty but we made it. It's worth it, right? Yeah, it's really nice and cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really nice and cool after. How long did it take for over 45 minutes to get here? Yeah. So I was reading reviews about people coming here and they said to come around this time because apparently in July there's barely any water and then in May it's too wet to go down like imagine if it was a little bit rainy and going up or down that thing that'd be really dangerous Saw the breath <laughs> going up that steep hill, and you kind of have to just figure out how to put your footing because there's like different ways, but some ways are like full of mud. So, yeah, my hands were a lot dirtier when I went down, so I'm trying to wash my hands now. I'm trying to look for it. My wrinkly hands, the ropes full of mud. The good thing is that there's not a lot of mosquitoes, so. So just wiping myself a little bit. So dirty. So now we're on our way back. <laughs> Nelson's butt. <laughs> My butt? <laughs> oh, okay. Can you use this to clean it? <laughs> okay, I'll clean your butt. 
and we did manage to get a little bit lost. We came from there and then we went that way and we started like the sound of the water. We couldn't hear it anymore so we had to come back and then go that way. So the falls are like directly under here but in order to go towards the fall you have to go that way but see how when you come from here you can't really see the path and then we saw an orange one of those orange thingies over there so we started going that way but that's the wrong way it's this way so a few things that i recommend bringing would be obviously water um something to sit on when well, you get to the fall uh gloves so because you don't really get rope burn, but it is stuff on your hands and you get mud all over it. So make sure you bring water um, to rinse your hands afterwards. After you go up, because when you go down, you can use the... When you go down, you can use the water at the falls. Uh, but when you go up, your hands will still be muddy. And then um, hand sanitizer, because everybody touches our rope. And it's literally on the ground. So I thought we were going to need mosquito repellent. But there's not really a lot of mosquitoes. Dominique, did you get bit when you were waiting for us? Not really. Dominique didn't want to go down, so she waited for us, and there wasn't a lot of mosquitoes. So that's good. The other thing that you can bring is hiking shoes. They have good grip, because on the way there, it's a lot of downhill. Unfortunately, on the way back, it's a lot of uphill. <laughs> Which is tiring, but you want to make sure your shoes have a good grip. Don't wear sandals or flip-flops. Hiking shoes would be the best. Or water shoes too, if you wanna like jump them on the rocks. And I'm sure it goes without saying, but I wouldn't come when it's raining. It's hard as it is um, going down the hill without slipping down when it's dry, let alone when it's muddy. It was raining yesterday and it was fine today. Mind you, the whole trail is pretty flat. It's just some parts are really steep. But the whole trail is super easy, it takes about 45 minutes and that's accounting the fact that we stopped for pictures and selfies and stuff like that. But yeah, definitely recommend it. Dominique, do you recommend it? Yeah. Nelson, do you recommend it? Yeah. Does your butt recommend it? <laughs> so that'd be another road boat. Pretty much there. Do you have fun? Yeah. That was really fun. It was quite an adventure. I wasn't expecting it to be that steep and adventurous. <laughs> Great hike. It was a really good hike. I really enjoyed it. Yay, we made it. <laughs> we came out. We, made we survived. It. We survived. It's yeah. actually pretty nice. There's like birds everywhere. I don't know if you guys hear it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the way back wasn't as bad as the way there. It felt shorter for some reason. It did feel shorter, but I feel like the way there was harder because the hills were so steep down and my shoes don't have the best grip. Yeah. So I was sliding down, so you have to be really careful. But on the way up, it's a good workout because it's, uh, it's the hills that you were going down, then you're going up. But other than that, like it wasn't super hard. I liked it. That was great. Honestly, <laughs> that would be so much fun. <laughs> yeah. And this is the parking lot, so you go up that way where the car is coming from, or motorcycle, and then you turn right that way. Anyways, if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more adventures. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.